back in the studio again with Janelle, and uh, uh, we're going to learn a little bit about the art show that's uh, coming up. When is it coming up, Janelle? It's coming up Thursday, in two this days Thursday. from now, yes. Oh. If you see my office right now, I've got three shopping carts full of stuff. Oh, so, is that right? Yeah, it's hard to get in and out of my office right now. <laughs> well, now, what's the stuff? You, they, surely you don't have all the paintings. Oh, no, no, no. Just So the way it works is there's a lot of administrative tasks up front. I have to reach out to get people to be in the show because this show is really about the residents. Mm -hmm. Community Resources organizes it. I'm the lead on it this year but it's the residents offering to show their art and participating that makes the show. How many do we have? We have over, we have almost 45. 45? Mm-hmm. And, um, and they're great artists too. Oh yeah. Oh, so, some wonderful things. Yeah. Well, I was looking back into the archives and they've had this show since 2004. Was that right? So this is at least 14 years going back. Yeah. Um, and every year we get some of the same artists and some new artists, some people, you know, phase out and don't do it anymore but there's always a, a crop of new fresh artists that come in and some of them sell their paintings don't they or their art yes and actually it's very important to mention that if you want to buy any of the artwork especially the pottery oh. um, you definitely bring cash because uh, we don't take credit cards and community resources does not do the transaction you would work directly with the artist mm -hmm. so I know the pottery group always emphasizes to bring cash if you want to buy some pottery um, it just makes it much easier. And um, so this year, uh, it's Thursday. This Thursday starts at 11 o'clock, and it goes till 3. And then the same thing on Friday, 11 to 3. Oh, we got two, two days, days then. Yeah. Oh, okay. In the past, it's only been one day, and yeah. the feedback we got was that it's such a big, elaborate setup process, and to have it only for one day, we wanted to extend it two days, which we've done the last year or two, Good. Um, just to give more people a chance to see it, but also it's just a lot of work to set up. And So yeah. tomorrow's the day, we'll be in Hunter's Crossing, um, the artists will bring their art over, and it's like putting a puzzle together trying to piece everything <laughs> and hang everything yeah, and yeah. delicately I might yeah. add because this is some very valuable stuff. So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this year um, I don't know if people have seen the signs and the posters around campus but um, this year I chose the symbol of the butterfly um, and the reason why I chose that for a variety of reasons first I thought it was pretty mm -hmm. but um, butterflies I think are very symbolic um, they symbolize endurance hope change as you know they turn into a butterfly they emerge and they they you know become they are a very symbolic like that aren't yeah they? Oh, absolutely and, and some beautiful colors in the butterflies absolutely they, they're a work of art by themselves and they are nature's work of art yeah I, I couldn't disagree with you more than but any less what, a what I was <laughs> when I was reading the artists biographies a lot of the artists in the show said that they always had an interest in art but because of life, you know, the necessities of life, work, raising a family, they either had to push it aside or, you know, let it go for a while. And now they've had this emerge, emergence of this flourish of creativity, um, which I really feel is so important in life, no matter what phase of life you're in, is to always be able to satisfy your creativity. I know several people who have decided after they retired mm -hmm. to go into art and painting or sculpture or something like that and they've they've done wonderfully I have one friend who has a lot of his own showings of art yes uh, and his sculpture so uh, that that's a good thing for residents and, and you know you made the point that they finish they come here and they have an opportunity to do something different yeah and they get into art in this case yeah and they have the time but they also have the resources here right. because we have many art classes where if you want to have some structured classes, you have watercolor classes here. We have a new sketch and draw class here. Um, one of the quotes I have on my flyer that I use to advertise the show is, is a beautiful quote. And I think, you know, you're a musician, so you, that's also art. Yeah. Um, the desire to create is one of the deepest yearnings of the human soul. So whether you're three or 83, you have that desire to create and here at, at Greenspring it can really flourish and then you get the opportunity whether it's through the art wall or through the art show to show off what you can do yeah. and we have a wide variety of art this year we have photographers we have fabric art 
quilters. Oh, we okay. have ceramic, we have pottery, sculpture. Uh, we even have a staff member bringing in some digital art. So it's a wide variety of digital art. art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, digital now, art. What's digital art? Well, you can call this digital art, you okay. know, okay. designed on the computer. All right, sure. So there's a, a, a wide variety of media this year, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. And working with the artists, they've come to my office and I've read their bios because we do a bio of every artist. Mm -hmm. Really fascinating, interesting people. Artists are some of the most interesting people that you can meet. And yeah. Yeah. the way that, you, that to be an artist, to look at the world, and to see things, you know, and to be able to show them to other people the way you interpret them, it's such a wonderful gift. It is, absolutely. So I'm really looking forward to it. I am too, and I hope, I hope we get a lot, of, a lot of people come out. I hope so too. Yeah. And I must mention, since you are a musician, we also have some musicians playing in the background. Oh. Um, when we open on Thursday, um, I have a special guest, Dr. Rami Kanan, who's coming to play on the violin, and he'll be accompanied by a pianist named Betty Cooley. And these are people coming from outside who, who know someone here in Greenspring, and this person was recommended to me, and he's going to be my opening act for the music for the show. And I'm really looking forward to hearing him play. He actually is a violin instructor and has his PhD, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then we have a wonderful variety of piano players. We have Gene Clodston. Sarah McCorkle, Fern Jennings, Mary Schuster, and then a zither player named Heidi. Oh, I know Heidi. Heidi, she's also going to be an exhibitor this year. Oh, is she good? So, good yeah, so yeah. it's going to be a fabulous show. I guess show. you don't need any uh, good old Mountain Dew or anything <laughs> like that. Huh? <laughs> well, you can bring your, you can, will you play the guitar or the banjo? I can't remember. Oh, I play the guitar. Okay, you can yeah. bring your guitar and... But they don't like Mountain Dew for art shows. Well, don't. you know, if we have any lulls, you know, you can walk around. You can be a, ro a roving... A musician. roving troubadour, huh? <laughs> a roving troubadour. There we go. Anyway, so that's the art show. Okay. And, Sounds uh, like it's going to be a great show. Thursday, 11 to 3 this week, and Friday, 11 to 3 this week. Yeah. Friends, family of residents, staff, everyone is welcome. It's free. There'll be some light refreshments and you can meet the artists, and there'll be a few artists doing some live demonstrations. Will there be lunch there? Or you I wouldn't call it lunch. It is more of art reception food, okay. because it is two days all day, so we have to be, you know, okay. frugal. <laughs> <laughs> frugal, so, huh? Yeah, I see. so um, then I wanted to just mention two other events that we have coming up in Community Resources. Oh, um, actually, the first event is, this is a favorite, everybody loves this, it's the Diversity Expo. And I will let Dwayne elaborate on this a little bit more when he comes on um, GSV TV. This is on July 26th. It's in Hunter's Crossing. And this is staff and resident. It's another one of these wonderful events like the art show where it's staff and resident. And what they are looking for right now is they want to have, like last year, they want to have a fashion show. So I know that they are looking for staff and residents to come and show off their cultural attire. So if you have any cultural attire, Gray, <laughs> where are you from? Bib overalls. From, you're from the? Southwest Virginia. Yeah, well, if you have anything culturally Not that Bib represents overalls, Southwest Virginia, <laughs> <laughs> all cultures are represented. So that's July 26th. And there are flyers out in the bulletin board. And you can contact Arzo in sales if you'd like to be in the fashion show. And then another favorite, another event that's staff and residents is the annual talent show. Good. And I know you know all about that. I do. You've been in that, right? Yeah, I have. Okay. Every one of them. So right now we're in the early stages of the talent show, and Anita is um, managing that this year. And before July 4th, which is coming up, yeah. we're looking for talent to come and join the show, to sign up and say, yes, I'll be in the show, because without the talent, we don't have the show. That's true. So we've got to gather the talent early. So the show will be Thursday, August 9th. But we're looking for talent. We want at least a month's notice so we can, we can make sure we have enough people in a, a wide variety of events. And I was managing backstage last year on the show. It was the first time I had seen it. And, and it was wonderful. And we have so much <laughs> talent here, so much talent. We do. We, do. we have you know dancers and singers and people who recite poetry. I thought last year's show was it was very good. I mean, we really did have a lot of different things. Yes. Yeah. That and was great. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, in fact, it's so much fun that we, we always fill up the theater and, you know, it's hard to well, get everybody. Are we going to have it two days this year? 
Not to my knowledge. Oh. I only know the date of August 9th. Okay. Um, if anybody has any questions about that, call Anita because I'm so focused on art show right now. Yeah, I, can I can't understand. think beyond Friday. Only two so. more days. <laughs> two more days. Then you when it's all done, I'll just <laughs> be back to normal. There you go. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we've got three events coming up this summer that are resident and staff together. Now, are any of these connected with the 20th anniversary? Well, actually, yes. I mean, the theme of the talent show is celebrating 20 years of talent at Greenspring. That's what I thought. And if you think about it, they're all connected. They're all connected. They're all things that we do annually. And um, the, you know, like I said, I went back into the archives okay. and I saw so many pictures from 14 years worth of art shows and rooms look different over time the residents change the art changes but we're still doing it and it's, it's these annual events i know the residents really look forward to yeah you know, we're getting into our final part of the year their 20th year so we really need to start our celebration yes by the, by, by using this kind of a, a way of doing it I yes think. um there is a committee um, oh, okay. There's a committee of people that I'm not on the committee. That's You're one committee on. I'm not on. Okay. But there is a committee that's spearheading everything about the 20th anniversary. And that's why I can't, I'm not as well spoken on it because I'm not on the committee. Okay. But I know okay. they're working away behind the scenes right now planning everything. Well, I hope so. Well, thank you very much, Janelle. You're we, welcome. We've, we've learned about the art show, and that's Thursday. Thursday and Friday. And we learned about diversity, and that's June the 26th. July 26th. July 26th. we learned about the talent show, and that's in August. August, August 9th. 9th. That's right. Great. So we've got something going on every month this summer. That's wonderful. All right. Well, thank you very much.